it's not about whether you can do it or not. It's about whether you want to do it. Does it inspire you and does it do good? And as a social worker, I mean, I have a bachelor's, a master's, and a PhD in social work. So the kind of the kind of doing best, you know, doing good to do best and do, you know, the double bottom line thing is yeah. really part of who I am. But in that moment where I realized it wasn't about can you achieve it? Do you want to achieve it? What I realized is that I don't think if we're not doing work that's meaningful to us personally, that doesn't personally inspire us, we're kidding ourselves if we think we're changing the world. That's, that's powerful words. And, and, you know, I'm nodding vigorously because I'm, I'm similar in the sense that I can turn my hand to many things and that's not the measure of success anymore. No. It's the measure of not can I do it, but actually is this, is this of all the things I could be doing, is this the best thing to be doing? I mean, knowing that you could have probably done a whole bunch of stuff, how did you find the place of focus to know which path to walk? That was the problem, and that's a really that's a really loaded question for me. I mean, it almost makes me teary eyed when you ask it. Um, how did you know the path to walk? Here's what I, for me, was that I spent my whole life looking for a path. Okay, so. Hmm. I get my PhD, I have a business background, and so the path that lays out in front of me is, you know, my dean calls me in and says, I'm a you know, first year or tenure track professor, I want to groom you for dean, for a dean position one day. And of course, there, there's that path, and I understand exactly how you get that. You have to do, you know, 43 articles that are peer-reviewed, 16 this, read a budget, do this, understand the politics of the account, you know, yeah. and so there's a path. And I started to go down it and started to be very successful very quickly. I guess for me, when I sat back and realized, God, you know, this is like, some of this work is like drilling a hole in my forehead and sucking my soul out through it. You know, this is not what I want to do. Um, what I realized was holding me back was the fact that when I wrote down what made me the happiest, where I felt like I could really, you know, that, that quote, don't, you know, um, Howard Thurman, don't do what the world needs, do what makes you come alive. Cause what the world needs is more people who have come alive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I realized is the things that make me come alive, there was no path. There was no one out in front of me doing it. There was no, I didn't say, oh, there she is and she's 38 and she's got really young kids and a, you know, a partner who's got a big career and this is, these are the 25 steps. Right. And so often meaningful work, in my opinion, is not at the end of a well-trodden path. Right. And that's scary. And so for me, I feel like I've been out front in some ways and behind in others, but really alone. And, the, and, the, and for me, the, the community comes not from people that are doing exactly what I'm doing, but from other people who are forging a path. That's, that's, I mean, it's very interestingly put. I mean, there's a, a Spanish poet whose name I can't remember, but he says, we make the path when we walk. And, you know, part of what I think you're saying is like, you know, here's my path or here's another great quote, which I think you're like is um, inspiration is when my path suddenly makes sense. When <laughs> you finally get to a point where you look back and you go, oh, that's what the path I was walking. Who knew at the time? Because at the time I was sort of stumbling forward going, mm, I hope this is my best guess. No, exactly. That's exactly right. And I think I love that inspiration. And what's really funny is that quote that you're talking about. Um, it's actually originally a Spanish quote, and it's the quote that leads into my dissertation. Not everybody subscribes, but the people who do are extraordinary. I think you're one of those people. Hit the subscribe button.